Hello, and welcome to Majesty's Sussex Report. I'm Antonio. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you for spending some of your valuable time with us. I want to say a big thank you to each and every one of you for your enormous feedback and contribution to the comment section, your wonderful, wonderful thoughts on that incredible speech that Prince Harry delivered. And to all the new members that have decided to join this little movement, this little channel, thank you. With open heart, I give you a very big hug. Welcome aboard. I wanted to reflect a little bit also on what has happened since then. And I decided to do it in sort of a two part. So the first part is more of a reflection. The second part is not a real in-depth analysis of the media after um, his speech, but what they usually do. So here is the first part. In the glittering world of royalty, few figures have captured the public imagination quite like Prince Harry. Born into privilege, yet burdened by tragedy, Harry's life has been a testament to resilience, compassion, and the unwavering pursuit of purpose. His journey from a young prince grappling with personal loss to a devoted husband, father, and champion for veterans' causes is a story of transformation and courage in the face of relentless scrutiny. Prince Harry's acceptance speech for the Pat Tillman's Award at the Epsys revealed the true essence of his character, humble, empathetic, and deeply committed to service. Despite the controversy surrounding his selection, Harry's words resonated with sincerity and respect. <clears throat> Elizabeth, Israel, and Kirsty, um, stay here. You need to be with me. Um, I'd like to begin by expressing my deepest gratitude to everyone at the Pat Tillman Foundation, led by Marie Tillman Shenton, who I'm so honored is here tonight. I'd also like to acknowledge the Tillman family, especially Mrs. Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Her advocacy for Pat's legacy is deeply personal and one that I respect. The bond between a mother and son is eternal and transcends even the greatest losses. These words reflect not just diplomacy, but a genuine understanding of the weight of legacy and sacrifice. Harry's acknowledgement of Mary Tillman's feelings, despite her criticism of his selection, demonstrates a maturity and grace that often goes unrecognized in media portrayals. Harry's dedication to the Invictus Games and veterans' causes isn't merely a royal obligation. It's a calling born from personal experience and deep empathy. His words, this award belongs to them, not to me, speak volumes about his character. Here is a man who, despite his royal background, sees himself as a servant to those who have sacrificed for their nations. The prince's commitment to service echoes the legacy of his mother, Princess Diana, known for her humanitarian work and compassion. Like Diana, Harry has chosen to use his platform to shine a light on important causes, often at great personal cost. The relentless criticism and negative media coverage Harry and Meghan face is a stark reminder of the price of fame and the often cruel nature of public scrutiny. From accusations of being fame hungry to questioning his worthiness for awards, Harry has been subjected to a barrage of criticism that would break many spirits. Yet, through it all, he has maintained his focus on what truly matters, his family 
and his mission to support veterans and promote mental health awareness. This resilience in the face of adversity is truly admirable and often overlooked in sensationalist headlines. As we reflect on Prince Harry's journey, it's crucial to remember the human being behind the royal title. Here is a man who lost his mother at a young age, served his country in war, and now fights daily battles against media intrusion and public misconception. The vitriol directed at Harry and Meghan, often tinged with racial undertones and class prejudice, reveals more about societal bias than it does about the couple themselves. Their story is a powerful reminder of the need for empathy, fair journalism, and the recognition that even those born into privilege face very human struggles. Prince Harry's life is a testament to the power of purpose and the courage to forge one's own path. From a young prince struggling with the weight of royal expectations to a man dedicated to making a tangible difference in the world, Harry's journey is one of growth, resilience, and unwavering commitment to service. As we witness his continued efforts to support veterans, promote mental health awareness, and protect his family from the harsh glare of public scrutiny, we see not just a prince, but a man of the people. Flawed, human, and profoundly relatable in his quest for meaning and impact. In a world quick to judge and slow to understand, Prince Harry's story reminds us of the importance of looking beyond titles and headlines to see the heart of a person striving to make a difference, one act of service at a time.